in the councils of government, we must car guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. We're just wondering what you're doing out here taking pictures, that's all. all right. Well, the cops are going to be here in a second, so. Good for that. Did you guys take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America? We do, absolutely. You know, this is First Amendment protected activity? Oh, hey, I, no. I, so why are you calling the cops on me? Well, airport security. That's what we're supposed to do. On Wednesday, January 6, 2016, the Jacksonville Aviation Authority issued a press release announcing that an emergency training exercise would take place on Thursday, January 7th at Cecil Airport in Jacksonville, Florida. The training exercise involved the Army National Guard, the United States Navy, and the Jacksonville Aviation Authority Police Department. The training exercise was announced to the public by local media outlets and was unarguably a matter of public interest. So, I decided to cover the event by taking photographs and video of the emergency training from the public sidewalk. Just a few minutes after I started taking photographs, I was approached by a Jacksonville Aviation Authority police officer. In an effort to alleviate any concerns, I decided to be very upfront with the officer by informing him of my intent, as well as by identifying myself and my press pass. I was hoping this would prevent any of the suspicious activity, terrorism nonsense we hear ad nausea. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? What's going on? I don't know. I just want to advise you to be very careful. These semis are full around here. Okay. And if I don't want any pedestrian activity on the roadway while they're here. No, I'm just standing. This is this public sidewalk, right? Perfect. Okay, cool. What I'm doing, just to let you know. What's that? Just, I'm with the press. Connect News Services, Jeff Gray, and uh, they announced that they're doing some sort of training out there. Only problem is it's way out there and they can't get a good shot of it, where the helicopters are and yeah, the fire trucks. Yeah, That's, they do those from time to time out here. All right, so this, as long as I stay on the public sidewalk, I'm good? You're fine, you're good to go. Okay, cool. Despite the fact that this event was publicly announced by the Jacksonville Aviation Authority and then broadcast to the public by the local media, and despite the fact that I was very upfront about my intent upon initial contact by the Jacksonville Aviation Authority Police Department, I was still approached by the military and they called the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. How you doing? Taking photographs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just out here covering the, uh, the event that's out there. Is that, what, is that part of what you guys are doing? Is that your... No, we're just wondering what you're doing out here taking pictures, that's all. Yeah, just taking pictures. Just for what? Like, what's uh, just, like I said, because we're, I'm covering the... Uh, that was oh, releasing. Are you a reporter? Well, I'm just a citizen reporter. Citizen reporter? Yeah. Do you have, have like some ID or something? Uh, yeah, but. Let me see it, man. Come on. No. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't have to show you my ID. All right, well, the cops are going to be here in a second, so. Can... Good for them. All right. Did you guys take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America? We do, absolutely. You know, this is First Amendment protected activity. Oh, hey, I, no. I... So why are you calling the cops on me? Well, airport security. That's what we're supposed to do. We, we have someone taking pictures of near a military installation. We have to. We have to do that, man. No. Flagged down by one of the uh, uh, military guys and okay. saying that you're taking pictures of stuff over there and it just kind of looks suspicious. So, I'm just kind of curious. You got ID with you? Uh, I do. Okay. Can I see it real quick? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm on a public sidewalk and I'll tell you okay, the reason. That's well, fine. I told, I'll tell you the reason I'm here. There was a media release okay. about the activities that are going on out here on the um, runway. This is like an emergency training event or okay. something like that. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking photographs of that. And the reason I took a picture of the building is because I think they're the ones that are involved in it. So I just wanted to get a picture of the sign and the building in the background. Okay. That's all. Okay. Makes perfect sense to me. Okay. But, uh, yeah, there's just, there's raising their suspicion. So, you know. Okay, yeah, just, just I, I explained it to them. If you could just let them know that that's all I'm doing. Just, I'm okay. Just, and cool. uh, I, I explained to them, I use, uh, send my, my photographs to the media. Sometimes they use it, sometimes they don't. So, gotcha. All right, thank you, all officer. Right. You have a good one. And the councils of government, we must car guard again the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes.